Hi, it's Dave Garnish here, and we're going to have a very quick look at Reactor in this video because um, a lot of people are a bit, bit scared of Reactor, find it a bit daunting. They just associate it with geeks geeking out, building stuff, um, building synths and, and reverbs and things like that. Um, you can build synths and reverbs and uh, pretty much any device you like in Reactor, but you don't have to. And we do cover it in um, week four, I think, of the complete sound design uh, workshops. Um, and we do build a couple of uh, devices or ensembles they're, they're called in um, reactor land um, just so you get an idea of how to build um, how to build your own device and it's really for if you download a device and you crack it open and you're having a bit of a play uh, so you can nip in and change it and make it your own so uh, I'm just going to show you how to load up a preset basically uh, in reactor just so you can use it um, really basically. So we're going to crack open Reactor. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> We've got this base thing here. Um, so here is, is the file browser. Here are all my hard drives. My Reactor folder is in Data. It's in Samples. And the Reactor 5 folder is in Samples because I like to have all my sounds together. So we're going to crack that open there and you're going to have a library folder. When you install Reactor it's going to say where do you want me to put your Reactor 5 folder and then you just tell it where you want it and then obviously remember where it is. Um, so in my library we have our Ensembles folder which we're, is the only folder we're going to look at in this video certainly. Um, and in my Ensembles folder we have Drum Machines, effects, lots of effects. You can actually probably build a whole track just using uh, Reactor because there's a bit of everything. You know, I have a bit of everything. I have effects, I have drum machines, uh, groove boxes, uh, samplers, um, sequence synthesizers here, um, sequences, okay, um, and just regular synthesizers here. I've got quite a lot of those. Okay, so we're going to have a look at, let's have a look at the Juno. Uh, there we go, it's just there hiding. I'm going to crack Juno open. Right, now you're going to get this um, window here saying, uh, where do you want us to store the auto save? Because what it does, it auto saves. I've got a folder in my Reactor 5 folder called My Files. Okay, um, so I'm just going to save and it's going to say, oh, you've already got one in there. That's fine. There's nothing in there that um, I really want to save. Okay, obviously, if I hit no, I can just change um, the name of the, the file. So I might just go put underscore and go one. Okay, if there's a Juno 6 in there that I wanted to keep, I'll just go OK, and that's fine. So any changes I make now is going to be saved as underscore 1. OK, so um, this is our file browser here. So we've navigated our way to this Juno. OK, you can see there's quite a lot of synths in this folder. Um, so now we're going to have a look through some of the presets. Click on this camera kind of um, icon here. Um, and in there, you're going to get all of the presets. They're called snapshots, okay? So if I just play my sequencer, uh, there we go. Right, that's playing away. So now we're going to have a flick through. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we like that, right? And we can now have a tweak with uh, the filter, say. I want to now assign that to a controller. So I'm going to right click, go learn MIDI. I'm just going to tweak my controller here. And there it is. Learn really easy, okay? Now I'm going to learn uh, my resonance to the next fader along on my controller keyboard. Now I'm just going to have a bit of a. Yeah, okay, so obviously that applies to all the parameters. Now we're just going to have a very quick look inside, okay? Just going to stop that. Um, so we're just going to double click and we're going to see here um, this is what the this is what the, the building blocks, if you like, of what the, the Juno is made up of. So we're just going to, here's our routing, okay? Audio in, audio out. Here's the actual Juno. So we're going to double click on that 
and we get all of these components okay that go into building the actual Juno um, and this is actually quite a simple one so we can just nip in there um, to the VCF the envelope um, and then come back out you come back out by clicking anywhere outside of the building blocks okay there's the LFO there and then come back out like that and then come back out again just click anywhere outside of these building blocks okay we're not gonna we're not gonna go into uh, them too much uh, we're certainly not gonna go into them in this video so we're gonna snip back out now and come back to our front um, our front panel of our Juno okay so okay so um, what we're gonna do now we're going to bus find our next bus bus 14 it's gonna make an aux Gonna make orc 17. In our inserts, we're gonna choose um, reactor five effects. Okay, so we now have our synth, and now we have our, another reactor, which we're gonna just have on the insert of our orcs. <clears throat> we're gonna turn that up, go and have that going into that orcs, and we're gonna have a quick flick through um, at some effects. So data samples. Uh, Reactor 5, library, and effects in ensembles. Okay, so here we have a choice of lots and lots and lots of effects. Okay, so maybe what I'll do, I'll just choose uh, out of my tutorial um, folder that I've made, we're going to choose um, something very simple like a, this Space Master Stereo Reverb. Again, it's going to say where do you want to um, store your auto saves. It's going to say I already have one in there. I don't mind. You can just write over that. Okay. So here we have a um, uh, a reverb. Um, so we're going to go on to snapshots. Sometimes when you click on snapshots, you don't get all of the uh, presets in here. You just have to tweak. Um, one of the parameters very slightly just to get the snapshots up so I'm gonna choose church and I'm gonna play the sequencer yeah so that's got a really long reverb on it now maybe that's too long well it's probably not gonna have a reverb on a bass I'm just giving you an idea okay so um, we're gonna have a quick look through here I don't know gated garage okay so now what we have we have our reactor on our instrument um, on our instrument fader and then we're sending um, that instrument to uh, on bus 14 we're sending it to orc 17 we're going to call this reactor reverb um, and on this insert we have another react we have a reactor effects okay and we've chosen this reverb here so you know as I said before we can probably make a whole tune in reactor we have drum machines we have synths we have sequencers we have reverbs delays flanges um, you know everything you could possibly think of someone has built an ensemble for okay uh, I've got quite a quite a healthy collection because I've been collecting them for quite a long time but we, we, they do, they do come quite a few um, when you buy the complete bundle. They do um, chuck in quite a few um, really handy ensembles for you to get started with. And, you know, in no time you can go up on the net and uh, start downloading your own ones and having, having a bit of a flick through there. So, um, yeah, that's really basically how to use Reactor without having to go in too much to the building block side of it. I'm just going to, I'm just a bit nosy. I just can't resist every time I um, load up a ensemble I just can't resist just going to have a quick look in to see what it's made of but um, yeah I hope you found this tutorial video uh, useful and you're not so scared of reactor anymore um, you can just use it a really simple way or you could or you can actually start building your own uh, ensembles okay but for now just um, crack it open um, load up some of the presets and have a bit of a play around so hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon cheers